Hey guys, it is Monday, May 3rd. I have 47 eBay orders to ship out today. Let's get to work. So part of the reason I have so many orders going out is once again, I sent out a lot of offers this weekend. I already told you guys that I got a new office and I'm going to be moving in there probably in two weeks. So I'm trying to just get rid of as much stuff as I possibly can. So it's less stuff to move. So you'll see a lot of offers on the stuff that's going out today. So if a price ends in zero, zero, that's an offer that I sent out. And if it ends in 99 cents, that means it sold at full price. Okay, first thing is this lot of three woods. It's three calorie woods. I got these along with some other clubs. Um, last weekend at a garage sale that I paid $40 for everything and these sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Also in that lot were these ping irons. It's only five through nine, so that hurt the value a little bit. M normal sets of irons come three through pitching wedge. These sold for $99.99 plus shipping. And lastly is this tailor-made wedge that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Then we've got a number of shirts that I pulled from storage. First is this 1994 Elvis Week shirt. That sold for $18 free shipping. Sold this vintage New York City uh, t-shirt that had the Twin Towers on it. That sold for $23 free shipping. Sold this Egypt shirt that I was mistakenly calling Egypt. is actually like a Greek motif. Somebody messaged me, so thank you for that if you're watching this. That sold for $22 free shipping. Sold this Elvis sweatshirt for $16 plus shipping. This Andy Fox Spring Training Marlins uh, jersey sold for $24 plus shipping. I sold two John Deere hats. This first one right here sold for $14 plus shipping. That's going out to a viewer named Dylan. And this one right here sold for $16 plus shipping. This next one is a big one. This is a Ralph Lauren sweater I picked up at a sale two or three weeks ago. I paid $5. Had it listed for like $200 or best offer. Somebody sent me a best offer on that one for $150 plus shipping and I happily accepted. This Detroit Red Wings jacket sold for $16 plus shipping. This Rocky Top Tennessee shirt sold for $12 plus shipping. That's going out to a viewer named Timothy. Then I had a couple of sales outside of eBay. Uh, I sold some cards to John. We've got six of them total. Trevor Story, Yuan Moncada, Mike Clevenger, Blake Snell, and Burt Blylevin. All of them autographed. Those sold for $90 free shipping. And I sold a Bible. That sold for $20 free shipping going out to a viewer named Jim. Dylan, Christine, Timothy, John, and Jim. Thank you all so much for the support. Okay, Dylan, who bought that hat, also got some other stuff. He got a 1962 schedule for the Cincinnati Reds. And it's an old inventory code that says A2. So I would guess it is in this box right here. Let's see, is this it? Nope, here it is right here. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. And Dylan also bought some bulbs and some spark plugs. So we've got bulbs right here. He got two sets of two of 918 white. That's these right here for $13.98 free shipping. And he got three sets of 923 white. Let's see, I should have a couple more in here. There's one, and there's the last one. These sold for $20.97 free shipping. And he got some spark plugs over here in F42. It is model xs3922 that's these he got a lot of four of these for 13.98 free shipping dylan thank you so much for the support i really appreciate it next thing i'm shipping out is in c42 let's see right here this is a verizon v20 phone that i got at a garage sale about two weeks ago i got this big box of like random electronics and this was in it i only paid like 30 for the whole box and i think i've already sold about 50 or 60 dollars worth and then this sold for 17.29 plus shipping next is a pair of carhartt jeans right here in b31 these are new with the tags picked these up about a week ago i've only got maybe five dollars into them those sold for 19.99 plus shipping sold a couple of pull filters let's see first one is right here on c2 i've got about 20 dollars into this this one is like a new open box, and it sold for $79.99 plus shipping. And the next one is up here on A1. It is brand new in the plastic, and it sold for $99.99 plus shipping. All right, we're going back to C42. I guess I could have just went ahead and pulled this. I sold this calculator. This is a TI Inspire CX. I got this last weekend at a garage sale. I paid $25 for it. 
has the case, manual, all kinds of goodies. And that sold for $59.99 plus shipping. All right, I just caught something that Dylan bought that I missed. So, sorry about that, Dylan. Uh, it is a belt buckle right down in here. Let's see, Shopsmith Mark V. Really cool belt buckle. That sold for $14 free shipping. Thank you, Dylan. Next thing is a mug. It's an old inventory code that says C5. So, it's probably down here. I think I see it. Yeah, here it is. Really cool look to it. It's Pyrex, just has an awesome pattern. That's sold for $9.99 plus shipping and is going on to viewers Matt and Carolyn. Matt and Carolyn sent a message with the purchase. They say, John, we can't thank you enough for all the invaluable info that you have shared. I unfortunately was laid off when COVID started. That sucks. My wife and I had always thought that starting a business together would be fun. After not finding any suitable job for months, we decided to take a shot at reselling and we have been having a blast since. We have been following your channel since the fall. The content that you share has helped us tremendously. We have two stores up and running, although still working on their structure. If you could please give them a shout out, that would be great. BGMO265 and LRRP-Outfitter. A sticker would be great too. We wish you the best with the new office area. It looks great, Matt and Carolyn. Matt and Carolyn, I'm so glad that the videos are helping out. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you and I wish you guys nothing but the best of luck with reselling. Next thing I'm pulling is a card, kind of a cool one too. Let's see, it is right here. Not you, Wyatt Matheson, this one. This is Sanya Richards, and it's like a hand drawing, one of one with a autograph, and that sold for $17 free shipping. Next thing is in D42, it is a small laminator. I've had this for at least like four or five months. I got it in a bulk buy. And I know I've only got one or two dollars into it. This sold for thirteen dollars plus shipping. Next is an art set right here on the D2 shelf, fifty-one piece, brand new in the plastic. Um, originally retailed for forty-nine ninety-nine. I got this from a bulk sale where I've only got a couple dollars into it. That sold for eighteen dollars plus shipping, going out to a viewer named Sandy. Sandy, thank you for the business. I hope you like the art set. I sold yet another John Deere hat down here in A51. It is this neon one. I actually have two of these. And this sold for $16 plus shipping. Sold a diecast car up here on D1. It is a Team Caliber Mark Martin. I believe it is this one right here. Yep, that's the one that sold for $10 plus shipping. Going out to your name, Austin. Austin's bought a lot of other stuff for me too. So Austin, thank you so much for the continued support. Sold a video game up here in 821. Right. Here it is beautiful Katamari for Xbox 360. I've only got a dollar into that. It sold for $14 free shipping. Sold two steins, both on this rack, I believe. It's these two tall ones right back there. Let me pull those out and show you guys. I've had these for quite some time. I would say nine months to a year. I got them as part of a huge buy that I made and they just haven't been selling. So I sent out offers for them. Uh, one buyer got them both for $22 plus shipping. Next thing is a glow-in-the-dark domino set. I believe it is this one right here. Correction, this is not a glow-in-the-dark set. Um, I got this at a garage sale last year. I've had it for a really long time. Only paid a dollar for it. It sold for $14 plus shipping, going out to a viewer named Tyne. Tyne, thanks so much for the business. I hope you like that domino set. Sold another card over here in A3. It's this Marcel Ozuna rookie card. It's a green foil that sold for $13 free shipping going out to a viewer named Chuck. Chuck, thank you for the support. I hope you like the card. Next is an E32. It is this miniature Lego Hulk that sold for $21.99 free shipping. Next thing is a waffle maker, something I've had for quite some time. Let's see, right over here, the brand is Cooks. And it is new in the packaging. I only paid a couple bucks for this at a garage sale. And it finally sold for $9 plus shipping going out to viewers Sarah and Crunch. Sarah and Crunch, thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing is over in D42. It is a lot of thimbles that I got in that eBay store buyout. Let's see, it's this box and then this little bag that has all of the COAs with them. Uh, those sold for $16 plus shipping. Next thing is a cookie jar, right here on B3, it's Tommy Pickles. You guys saw me pick this up at a garage sale, I think it's been a month now. I got this and the Grimace one, and I also got that uh, Beetlejuice one, and I paid 
like $15 each for them, something like that. And this one just sold for $30 plus shipping going out to your name, Jake. Jake, thanks so much for the support. Next is some more uh, Hulk Legos in C31. Let's move this cart out of the way. Let's see here. These little guys, they sold for $22 free shipping. Next is a cassette tape in A41. New in the plastic, the replacements, and that sold for $12 free shipping going out to your name, Kip. Kip, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Next is also something I've had for quite some time. It's behind this Corvette. Let's move the Corvette out of the way. This is a Boyd's Bears Mobile. Originally with a Toys R Us sticker, you can see there. I got this at a garage sale last year. I paid 6 or $7 for it. Not a great buy. I've had it for a pretty long time. Finally sold for $10 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Marianne. Marianne, thank you so much for the support. I'm pulling another card over here in C4. It is a George Springer Rookie. Red foil. Let's see. Right back in here somewhere, I think. There it is. That sold for $29.99 free shipping. Sold a big lot of cassette tapes on B4. These right here. This is a total of 100 country cassettes. Um, whenever I get big lots of cassettes, I like to sell them by genre. I think that's the best way to sell them and, you know, make a little bit of money. These sold for $45 free shipping. Next is on E2. It's a Toy Story toy. This one right here. This was part of that eBay store buyout. That sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Okay, we're going back to C4. I sold... A Nick Solak card. This one right here. This is an orange parallel number to 25. Um, Buyer and I went back and forth a couple times on this one. We finally settled on 11.50 plus shipping. Next thing is a Men in Black toy on B2. It is this Alien Terrorist Edgar. Pretty cool piece. I've only got three or four dollars into that. It sold for 19.99 plus shipping. All right, shipping one more card, uh, guys. I promise this is the last one. It is an autograph Jeter Downs card. This one right here it used to be a Cincinnati Red. He's now with the Boston Red Sox, and that sold for 16.99 free shipping. And last thing going out today is an E42. It is the Cincinnati Reds hat. That sold for eight dollars plus shipping. It's Tuesday morning. I have 15 eBay orders to ship out, and it is storming like crazy. So if you hear a bunch of noise, that's what that is. I've got a metal door on the back of my warehouse, and the rain just beating up against it, making all kinds of noise. So I apologize about that. Before I get started, I got a couple of viewer questions I want to answer. First is from Smith's 05 Monkey. I know you went over this before. I just can't remember what video you explained it in. What do you choose when you choose the USPS shoebox box? I'm just starting to get selling shoes as well. Okay, so the box that they're talking about is right here. You can get this on USPS.com. Some post offices have them. They're totally free. And their code for them is shoebox. Um, this is just a generic mailing box. There's no flat rate or anything like that. Uh, dimensions are seven and three eighths times five and a quarter times 14 uh, and seven eighths. So whenever you use that box and you ship and you're printing your label on eBay or Pirate Ship or wherever, all you need to do is select priority mail and then you select that you're using your own box and you put those dimensions in. You just have to round up. So even though it says seven and three eighths by five and a quarter by 14 to seven eighths, you gotta go eight by six by 15. So that's what you do with that. I use this box all the time. Just seems like it works out for a lot of things besides just shoes. Okay, next is from Vince Italiano. I watch your videos all the time. It seems you pull the trigger and pop on items real quick. Would you say this is a better strategy than to bundle and try to discount all at once? Definitely, I always try to bundle first. If there's you know stuff that I see uh, that I can make a bundle and do better on, I always try to do that first. Sometimes I just get too excited when I see something and I'm trying to buy it right away. But yeah, usually when I go to a sale, if I see one thing, I'm immediately scanning around to see what else I can try to make a deal on. And I'm also eavesdropping on any conversations that are being had between the person having the sale and anybody else trying to buy something. Cause a lot of times that can give you an idea of whether or not they're gonna like budge a little bit. You know what I mean? So like I'll be shopping and I hear somebody say, well, you take five for this or whatever. And sometimes they'll just say yes right away. And it's like, okay, so now I kind of know what I'm working with. And other times, you know, they won't budge. So that's how I do it. Um, there's all kinds of different strategies for garage sales and you know, pretty much all of them work. If you guys have a question for me, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it in a future video. All right, first few things we're shipping out I pulled from my storage unit. This right here is a Harley Davidson Mount Rushmore shirt. I have this listed for like 
I don't know, maybe 40 bucks. And um, so that about offer of $25 plus shipping and the washer accepted. Next is a KC uh, Royal shirt, really cool. It's got like lightning bolts and stuff. That's also an offer I sent out, $28 free shipping going out to the viewer named Zach. And the next order has a handful of items. I went ahead and pulled this uh, Ross Perot hat from storage. Uh, and the buyer also got a few other things too. A Buck Farmer card, a Christian Walker card, and a Nasty Boys bobblehead. All four of those sold for $84.96 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Luke. Zach and Luke, thank you both so much for the support. Next thing shipping out is a pair of Nerf guns right up here. I've got two of these. Each box has two guns, part of that eBay store buyout that I made, and these sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing going out is a snow globe right here. This is a SeaWorld snow globe. It has some whales on it. Pretty cool, actually. Got that for $2 at the garage sale. Sold for $19.99 free shipping going out to a viewer named Carol. Carol's bought a lot for me in the past. So, Carol, I want to thank you so much for all your support. Next thing is an E41. I got, I think, a couple of these, maybe. Or maybe I already sold one of them. This is an anti-sweat valve made by Everbuilt. Uh, new in the plastic that sold for $16.99 free shipping. Next sale is kind of a big one. It's this bear right here. Let's see, I have two of these. I got the pair at a garage sale for $25. Bucks. And this one sold to a viewer named Lisa for $39.99 plus shipping. And she messaged me about buying the other one. So we did a, uh, did a deal outside of eBay on this one for $45 free shipping. Lisa, thank you for the business. I hope you like the bears. Okay, next thing is a lot of four pens in this box right here. You guys have seen me sell a number of these over time. I've got a hundred of these total, little Delta Junior pens that you would get, you know, as a kid. This set of four sold for $11.99 free shipping. And those are going on to your name, Justin. Justin, thanks so much for the support. Okay, next thing are some Jurassic Park stickers. I'm just going to bring this whole box over because I sold a number of these. I made lots of two with these. It's um, two yellow and two red. And one person bought five sets of them. Uh, and I gave them a little bit of a discount since they bought so many. Uh, th these five sets sold for $69.95. Free shipping going out to your name, Chris. And if your name, Bart, bought a set too. So let's pull out a yellow and red for him. Those sold for $13.99 free shipping. Chris and Bart, thanks for the business. I hope you like those stickers. Next thing is an action figure. Lord of the Rings. Let's see. It is Traveling Bilbo. He's hiding right back there. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Sold another bobblehead back here. Also Nasty Boys. Let's see. This one right here. This is part of that big lot of bobbleheads I got from that garage sale. So I've only got $2 into it. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing is in D41. It is this baby unicorn fingerling. I got this in the eBay store buyout that sold for $11.99 plus shipping. That fingerling's going out to my buddy Anthony. He says, long time viewer, first time buyer. Baby Olive will love this. Keep on keeping on, Anthony. If you guys don't know Anthony, he has a channel called Froggy Flips. It's one of my favorites. The guy just has a lot of fun with it. He knows a lot about reselling. So if you haven't checked out his channel, I highly recommend it. I'll put a link down below in the description. And Anthony, thank you so much for the support. I hope Olive likes that toy. Next thing going out is another bobblehead in B31. This is a Yoda bobble. It was a Cincinnati Red Star Wars giveaway. As a matter of fact, today is May the 4th. So today is Star Wars Day, and I want to say they gave this away on Star Wars Day. So it's kind of funny timing. Also have $2 into this. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Sold another card over here in A3. It is a Mark Melanson rookie card autographed when he was a Yankee, and I want to say he's with the San Diego Padres now. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. It's Wednesday morning. I have five eBay orders to ship out. First thing I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. It is this vintage fishing trucker style hat. It says, fishing is not a matter of life and death. It's much more important than that. I thought that was pretty funny. This is part of that big uh, buy of hats that I made about a month ago. Took a best offer on this for $10 plus shipping. And that hat's going out to viewers Tommy and Jenny. Guys, thank you both so much for the support. Next thing is a camera right here in C42. I got this at a garage sale a couple weekends ago where I bought some patio chairs, a ceiling fan, all kinds of random stuff where I paid like 50 for everything. So I've maybe got $5 into this. It's the ruby red version of this power shot. And 
digital cameras like this aren't worth a ton, but if you can get them cheap enough, you can make a little bit of money. This one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a video game. Right here in E41, it is Alan Wake for Xbox 360. I paid 50 cents for that. It sold for $14.99 free shipping. Sold another video game in A41, Minecraft Xbox One Edition. Also paid 50 cents for that. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next thing is a mug up here in A2. I believe it is this one right here. Cats by Nina. That's just a really cool looking mug right there. That's all for $14.99 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Mike. Mike got that for his boss. So Mike, thank you so much for the support. Really hope your boss likes that mug. It's Thursday morning. I have 16 eBay orders to ship out. First couple things. Went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. Sold this Winchester turkey hat. Uh, camo design. That's all for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold this TaylorMade Jet Speed Driver. I just picked that up. Uh, last weekend for five bucks. That's all for $69.99 plus shipping. Next is a Jesse Winker autographed rookie card. Sold that to a viewer named John outside of eBay for $30 free shipping. And I sold this Bengals NFL alumni polo to a viewer named Dylan for $18 free shipping. John and Dylan, thank you both so much for the support. And Dylan got a couple other things too. He got something in here. I want to say this might be my last piece of ephemera. I got a bunch of this stuff from an auction a few months back, and it all sold really quickly. I made some really good money on it. This is the last piece. Uh, this one sold for $10 plus shipping, and then he bought a few other things. Let's see. Back here in F31 is this Kings Island uh, like seat cushion from 1974. That's a local amusement park. He got the inflatable hockey like skating rink right back here and he got a box of scotch hang tabs let's open this up these right here all three of those are going to dylan for 50 dollars plus shipping next thing going out is a star wars toy right here i've had this for quite some time i think i had it listed for around 12 13 bucks something like that and it sent out the best offer for nine dollars plus shipping and it is going to a viewer named christina christina thanks for your support and happy belated star wars day I picked up a couple of TI-84 calculators like last week and I just listed both both of them yesterday and they both sold pretty much right away. Uh, this one sold for $49.99 free shipping and the other one right over here sold for the same price, $49.99 uh, free shipping, I'm sorry. They each sold for $49.99 free shipping. All right, next thing is up here in A21. It is this antique... Artura Iris manual for a Kodak camera. This is something I've had for a really long time. I got it in part of a big camera buy. Don't really have much into it. Um, sent out an offer for $9 free shipping and the watcher accepted. Next is in C41. It is this red piggy bank. Has a really cool look to it. Got this a few months ago for a couple bucks and a viewer named Bart's. I mean an offer of $25 free shipping and I accepted. Bart, thanks for the support. I hope you like the piggy bank. Something else in this box sold. This little thing right here, this is a gift chart from Montgomery Ward's department store. That sold for $8 free shipping. Okay, next thing is also an offer I sent out. Let's see, right here in A42. This is a vintage bar set. I'll open it up so you guys can get a look at it. Really nice set, has a bunch of pieces. This is something I've had for a while. I sent out an offer of $22 plus shipping and the washer accepted. Sold some cards in C4. It is a lot of 24 Cincinnati Reds, 1969 and 1970. These right here, they sold at auction for $15.51 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Austin. Austin, thanks for all your support, man. I hope you like those cards. Next thing's down here on E5. It is this vintage Bugs Bunny costume. Really cool. I thought it would have sold quicker. I've had this thing for like a year and I sent out an offer of $10 plus shipping just because I wanted to move it and the watcher accepted and it's going to a viewer named Sean. Sean says, hi, I watch your YouTube videos all the time. I'm not a subscriber, but I will be shortly. Been seeing this in your videos and finally pulled the trigger. Just want to say, love your channel and keep up the good work. Please check out my store and give me some pointers if you think there's anything I could do better. 9270 Sean. Also, would you mind tossing in a sticker? My son will think it's awesome and try to take it from me. Thanks again, Sean. Sean, thanks for your support. I'll definitely throw a sticker for you and your son. Next is two lots of NFL cards. Uh, some auctions that I had ending last night. First is in C41. We 
these right here. It is 20 um, patch cards. I think there's like a Jim Kelly and some other ones in there. And the other thing is in D32, these right here, that is a lot of 20 autograph football cards. Uh, each auction started at a dollar total. The two sold for $84.05 plus shipping going out to your name, Jesse. Jesse, thanks so much for bidding on the cards. I hope you like them. Next is on D3. It is a lot of Star Trek VHS tapes. I've had these for, I don't know, three, four months, something like that. I didn't price them that high. I think I priced them at like $13, $14 plus shipping, and they just didn't really get any bites. Uh, another thing I'm just trying to get rid of, sent out an offer for $8 plus shipping. All right, I made a sale while I was packing items. This guy right here, this is from that big hunting buy I made a few months back. It is Vanguard Binoculars. Send out an offer of these for $55 plus shipping and the watcher accepted. It's Friday afternoon. I'm back from the garage sales. I have 22 eBay orders to ship out. First thing is up here in C31. This is a Johnny Bench bourbon bottle label. I got three of these at an auction for not much money. I think about 50 cents each. And they haven't really been selling, so I lowered the price. This one sold for $9.99, free shipping, and it is going out to a viewer named Josh. Josh, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next order has five items. It's all Cincinnati Reds cards, and I believe it's these five right here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this worked out nice and easy. I did an auction for these, each one starting at a dollar. Let's see. The cards range from 1967 up to 1976 total the buyer paid 127.73 plus shipping next is over here in e42 it is a lot of nfl cards let's see these right here uh these also sold at auction for 64 dollars plus shipping next is a glove right here in b31 really cool glove too i picked this up a few weeks ago and i would never seen it before it is a Coca-Cola 75 year anniversary. So I think it was made in the mid seventies and it's got Joe Morgan and Pete Rose. Condition isn't great on this one. Otherwise could have been worth a little bit more. Uh, I think I had it listed for like 40 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $30 plus shipping and I accepted. And that glove's going out to your name, Daniel. Daniel, thanks for the business. I hope you like the glove. Next thing's up here on F2. This is an Xbox 360 wired guitar hero guitar i got this at a garage sale two weekends ago for five bucks and i haven't sold one of these in a while i was really surprised to see what they're selling for this sold for 59.99 plus shipping and in case you guys are curious how i'm going to ship this i won't go into detail but i'll just tell you that i'm going to take two of these boxes these are free usps mailing boxes the code is 1095 i think let me flip it over here yeah these are 1095 um they're 12 and a half by three by 15. And basically you just fold up the box and then close, close this one up on this end, close this one up on this end and then combine them and just slide this right between it. It's going to work out perfectly. Next thing's an A32. It is down here. This is a mechanical water heater time switch. I got three of these. A couple weeks ago, that sold for $27.99 plus shipping. Next thing is an F42. It's this cassette tape right here. This is Jungle Funk by Rap a Lot Records. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. Okay, next order has quite a few things in it. Let's see. It was, I think, three separate orders. And I did a bundle deal for them too. Let's see. First thing is down here in A51, it is this 5th Avenue Crystal Basket. Really cool looking piece, I've had this for quite some time. And next is right up here. This is a portfolio of Chance Vote or Vot Cutlass. Open this to show this, some of these to you guys. Just really awesome looking prints. These two sold for $44.98 plus shipping. And next lot of things he got, let's see, we've got four brochures in E3. They are all in here. So we got an F51 uh, and three different F86s. So here's an F86, here's another F86, one more, and there's the F51. Um, those four, along with 
these pins right here. He got four of these pins. This lot right here sold for $71.95 plus shipping. And then lastly, he got something here, B41. This is an old photography book, Image Management, that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All that stuff's going out to viewer named Steven, and I made him a bundle deal on that, so I sent him a big refund on it. I think total cost of everything came out to like $140 plus shipping or something like that, and I refunded him some so that it was only like $95 shipped or something like that. So Steven, thank you so much for the support, man. I hope you like all that stuff. One last thing Steven got over here in F41. It is this lot of... MLB cards, they're all autographed. He won these at auction for $37 plus shipping. Thank you, Stephen. Next thing is a card over here in A3. It is an Alex Kirilov autograph three-color patch card. He is a player for the Minnesota Twins, just got called up. He's doing pretty well, too. This sold at auction for $38 plus shipping. All right, going back to A3, I guess I could have just stayed there. I sold, actually, I sold a couple things out of here, so I'll go ahead and pull these two. Let's see, first is this lot of Mike Trout cards. 24 of them total, those sold at auction for $99 plus shipping. And I thought I sold these Cody Ballinger cards, but I guess the buyer didn't pay yet, so we'll just put those back. Okay, next thing is in C4. It is a lot of MLB cards. We've got some patches. Let's see, MLB 26, I believe it's this one right here. These sold at auction for $27 plus shipping, going out to a viewer named Robert. Robert, thank you for the support. I hope you like those cards. Okay, the other lot right next to it is right here, MLB 27. This is also a lot of patch cards. Those sold at auction for $15 plus shipping going out to your name, Tommy. Tommy, thanks so much for the business. It means a lot. Next thing's in C42. This is an Omega-3 liquid for dogs and cats. I got this in that eBay store buyout that sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Next is another lot of cards over here in D31. Let's see, I labeled it MLB31. So it should be these right here. Yeah, these are a lot of 20 autograph cards and those sold at auction for $30 plus shipping. Okay, I sold an autograph card here in C4. It is this Mike Clevenger card that sold for $16.99 free shipping. Okay, next order is two lots of cards. Let's see, we sold down an A51. A lot of Bryce Harper cards right here. And then up in A3, it is 16 Dodgers cards. And I guess that's these right here. So I don't know why I thought these were all Cody Bellinger. I'm losing my mind, you guys. Okay, these two sold at auction for $85 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Dan. Dan says, hey bud, thanks for the cards. Been watching your channel with my fiance Heidi during this pandemic season we are in and have started reselling as a result. Her birthday is May 12th, so birthday shout out to her would be awesome. Ironically, I did not buy these for her. She's the best person I know and I love her so. All the best, Dan. Dan, thanks so much for the support and Heidi, hope you have a great birthday. Okay, next slot is an, uh, also two things of cards. First is down here in C51, it's 20 autograph cards these right here MLB 28 and next is an E31 it is MLB 29 same buyer bought both of these uh, both were up for auction the payer sold for $68 plus shipping and last thing we're shipping out today is right here this is a Cub Cadet pair of lawnmower blades I got a bunch of these in the eBay store buyout they sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.